Can't judge me, girl. No. I won't judge you neither. Uh-uh. I love your smell. Your style hotter than the feel. You're different from others. You are. I love your demeanor. You so, guys, we are trying the Chef Boy RD throwback recipe. We are going to be trying the beefaroni and the lasagna. And, y'all, these we got these from Walmart. I think they were like, what, 60 cent piece, baby? I don't know, like a dollar a piece. I'm not sure. So, on the throwback can, it says more meat, more cheese, more goodness than regular Chef Boy RD. And as you guys can see, looking at this can, it says premium beefaroni, premium lasagna. And then when you look on the back, it says made with tomatoes from California, made with real Romano cheese, with real Angus beef, no high fructose corn syrup. So my question is, well, sh what the heck have you got in the other beef boy RD? So you ain't got real beef, you ain't got real tomatoes, you ain't got good cheese. You serving us anything. So guys, we're gonna do a taste test on this and you guys stay tuned. One, two, three. What up, gang, gang, gang! It's your boy, Rayshon. And your girl, Precious. And we're here today to do a taste test. Of the new... Or the throwback... Chef Boyardee throwback recipe. So guys, we got these at Walmart when we were in Savannah, Georgia. And we were supposed to do the review there, but we totally forgot. So we are gonna redo the review here. Um, I haven't had raviolis and these type of meals in probably Weird. over nine years. I didn't even know. Well, remember when Lauren was staying with us? About, about said six years. <sighs> yeah. All right, so probably about six, what's wrong? So probably about six years. So I'm excited to try to hold the new recipe. It's hopefully it's hitting. And guys, not really. It's big then again, but it's not a, a new recipe that brought back the, no, throw, the throwback, which recipe. is different than a new one. So it's not new, it's the old school. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, to be notified, and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to check out the Double E's Epic Empire. And their links are where? In the link description below. See, I try to make it easier for you and you just missed it. <laughs> but yeah, so go ahead, let's, we're gonna go ahead and get into the beefaroni. Oh, but we're gonna have some close ups right here the lasagna guys look how big the noodles are like this looks like crate the bomb ravioli this is the lasagna oh la carito all right let me stop but this looks really good and then this here is the beefaroni noodle supreme with ramona cheese i hope you guys enjoyed their close-ups all right, so let's just start with the beef pepperoni. The beef pepperoni. The kala kala. All right, so ooh la la, beef pepperoni for the babies. If you feed your kids, just comment below. Definitely a difference. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Let me try. Let me try a little. I mean, baby just took over the whole bowl, you know. Matter of fact, we got. I got a bowl for myself. Put me a little bit in. So we're gonna. I'm gonna taste it a little bit more. Then I'm gonna give you guys my rating. No, I don't want that. I'm gonna give you guys my rating and how I feel about the difference between this one and the other one. For starters, this is ten times better than the. The uh, beef on it that they sell now. The sauce is better. Mhm. Mm it's more flavored. The noodles are the same. Yeah, the, yeah, the noodles are the same. But the meat tastes like meat. Guys, we still know that this ain't good for us, but it's just. 
You know, it's a childhood classic. Yeah. That's that's what I really want to try right now. What? Lasagna? Mm-hmm, I, I never had the lasagna, even the other one. I have. I always had beef only or ravioli. Yeah, we, we, uh, well, I had the lasagna and the, the noodles. I can tell you right now, the noodles are a way different. Than the one, the, the old the, one? Than the, the... The new ones? Yeah, those are like uh, hamburger helper lasagna noodles. Mm-hmm. In the, the ravioli. Oh, my God. Okay, hold on. First, we got a 1 through 10 of the beefaroni. Right, this one? Yeah, I would definitely give that an 8. i give it a 9. I feel like we're talking about we're talking about just canned foods rating. We're not talking about like homemade beef yeah. comparison. But for this, I would give this like an eight, a seven and a half, eight for sure. Something that I definitely would indulge in if it was something that I really had a taste for. I, I want them to come out with the, the what's your product? With the ravioli. Yeah, the ravioli ones. I think these are the only two that we saw at the time. Well, maybe um, I'll, well, I'll check our local Walmart see if they have them. Right. So now we're about to get into the lasagna. lasagna. And that lick I just had tastes like real beef. The sauces taste different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's definitely different. Wow. Wow, Chef Wardy. I'm impressed. Oh, well, we can eat like this when we were growing up. This is the one that we had growing up. That's what they said. Original. I didn't have this growing up. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? Our parents had this when they was growing up. And you know, you said that something. <gasps> Y'all, Prissy Pete is the worst. Wow. Okay, Chef Boy. But, uh. With the lasagna, I taste a lot more beef and a lot more cheese. I'm gonna give this a nine and a half. Same, the same one. I'm gonna give this an eight. Definitely. I'm gonna let her talk. It's, it's Deb from Fritz Family. Oh, it's Deb from Fritz Family say. I'm gonna let her finish talking while I eat these. Which one you like better, the beef brownie or the lasagna? The lasagna. Y'all, yeah, like, like you know, sometimes these put things like these companies just put new labels on stuff and it be the same stuff. But Chef Wardy really genuinely changed this for real like it's not bad mm -mm. I think if you dress it up a little bit put your own little cheese on it and melt it your little parmesan some, egg, some extra ground beef or ground turkey or ground chicken. whatever I think it would be a good hearty meal you know with the sodium is pretty high but I'm impressed so excuse me hmm so now we're just gonna have a mukbang now and watch baby. Eat. What? In a mukbang? Yeah. A, a um a ravioli. Don't let it drip, man. A ravioli mukbang. I'm doing my talk. Don't talk. Just eat. Well, I'm gonna talk to y'all while he eating. So guys. We know you, we told you guys that we're going to have our merch ready in a few weeks. We are still working on some stuff. We're super excited. So you guys stay tuned. Um, what else we got coming up? We have our next Epic Empire trip coming up in January. Um, it's going to be in Houston, Texas. Um, we have officially booked for Houston. So that is what the plan is. Um, right now, Mary and Sean are still trying to decide if we want to fly there or drive there. And the reason why we're debating is because we're worried about our, our, our equipment that we bring. I, I, I get your situation. You mean our situation? Well, our situation. But if we had to leave a day early and stop somewhere, mm -hmm. 
breast up and hit the road again. That's what, but the right I, there I, is full of sauces. Mm. Sorry, guys. For me, I want to drive. Well, why do you want to drive? You got sauce right over here too. Get it. Let me see. Cause I want to, I want to, you know. Oh, you want to see stuff? Yes. I want to well, actually go. I want to see the, you know, the different states we go to. Like I've ne never been to. Like. Well, you've been through Mississippi and New Orleans, so that's that's it. You've been to uh, Georgia. Well, I want to actually see myself going into text different parts of Texas. So, guys, my thing is the reason why I don't. I mean, I, I we love traveling, we love driving and stuff, but the reason why I didn't want to drive is because I felt like. You know, my legs be so swole by the time we get there. And, like, I can't really enjoy myself because my legs are, you know, be so swole and walking and all that stuff. So, I was like, if we flew, it would just be quicker for us to get there. And then I can really enjoy myself and not worry about my legs being swole. So, that was one of the reasons why I wanted to fly. And my other reason was, I feel like by us driving, we we'll save a lot more than flying. No, I mean, so so are you just not ready to fly yet? No. Oh, that's that's the reason. No, that's not oh, the reason. Oh, no. Oh, okay. No, I'm definitely flying for, for my birthday. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying no. I'm, that that ride I ain't I ain't that that that's that's a long ride. But that's the ride you really need to explore the world. That's true. Because these states we already been through already. I ain't telling y'all where I'm going to my birthday yet, but we're gonna do a meet and greet. When I let y'all know around that time. Mm-hmm. But yeah, guys. So, yeah. We're just working on some stuff. We're trying to debate. See if we need to book flights. Or just, you know. Maybe we'll get a rental car. That way, we'll be more space than my car. Maybe that would be something that we might consider. Right. Where, because my car is like a, a compact, more compact SUV. So, maybe we have more space. Like a van or something. Or a Tahoe. A van or something. Gotta get the heavy Chevy. It'll be more space where we can really just, you know, and something that's good on gas too. And my car is really good on gas when it's water town, so that's no complaints there. But you know, my car needs a little break. I feel like a seventeen hour ride is a little too much for her. Like she been a lot a lot of places and she might need a little break. So definitely might sit her down for that trip. So yeah, maybe that's another route we can yeah. look at. So I'm thinking a van though. Okay. We can hop in the mini wagon. We can hop in the meat wagon. And that way it'll be enough room for all of us to ride in the car together when we are there. The whole epic empire. So, you know, because my car's so little. Okay, guys. Well, we're going to be talking about some stuff. Um, if you are in Houston, comment below H Town or whatever town you're in. Because we're super excited. We're near Houston. Yeah. Right, but we're also going to be going to Fort Worth as well. So make sure. You let us know where you at so we can hug you guys and love on you guys. We might be going to Oklahoma. Well, I want to go to Oklahoma while I'm down that way. Really? But I know it's six hours. Mm. We will be at. Mm, Oklahoma. All right, guys. Well, we love you. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. Gang, gang. gang, gang.